Kogan grass is classified as a federal and state noxious weed, making it illegal to transport plants, seeds, or plant parts within the state or across state lines. Since its introduction into the state in 1912, Kogan grass has spread aggressively through Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida, with some infestations in Georgia, South Carolina, Texas, and Louisiana. Often growing in dense circular patches, Kogan grass stems are indistinct and the sheaths of leaves appear to almost arise directly from the soil. Unlike many grasses that grow in clumps, Kogan grass grows in a more scattered manner. Yet within a patch of it, the individual stems can be densely packed together. The linear leaves are usually one half to one inch wide and can range from one to four or more feet tall even within the same patch. The edges of the leaves are sawtoothed, feeling a bit like sandpaper. Leaf color is often yellowish green and sometimes reddening in the fall, and the central vein is whitish and off-center, especially near the base of the leaf. After a freeze, the leaves will usually turn brown, but the dense thatch will remain standing. Kogan grass flowers and seeds occur on a spike or head that is two to eight inches in length and silvery white in color. A patch of Kogan grass in bloom or seed is easy to spot, making the spring and early summer when it is in bloom the easiest time to find and identify this pest. Each plant can produce up to 3,000 windblown seeds. Johnson grass and several other grasses, which are sometimes confused with Kogan grass, have different looking flower spikes and bloom during the summer or early fall. Kogan grass rhizomes, underground stems similar to roots, form a very dense, entangled mat in the soil and can spread underground as much as nine feet a year, putting up new plants along the way. They have pointed tips which are so sharp they can pierce the roots of other plants. The rhizomes are noticeably segmented and covered with flaky, paper-like scales. Beneath the scales, the rhizomes are bright white. Johnson grass also has segmented rhizomes, but they are not covered with scales and are not sharp-tipped. Any rhizome segments that get broken off and move to a new location can sprout and start a new plant, even weeks after being detached from the original plant. It is through hitchhiking around the state, attached to skidders, fire plows, road graders, mowers, food plot equipment, and other forest and road maintenance vehicles and equipment that Kogan grass is spreading so quickly. To avoid inadvertently transporting Kogan grass hitchhikers, keep away from the plant when seed heads are present or when the soil is muddy and rhizomes can be broken off and stuck on vehicles or equipment. If you must work in areas infested with Kogan grass, try to work in the contaminated sites last and make sure to clean vehicles, equipment, and clothing before leaving the site. It is also good practice to require that any off-site forest management equipment coming onto your property be cleaned prior to entering the site. Cleaning vehicles and equipment in the field may be challenging, but it is necessary to slow the spread of Kogan grass and to avoid breaking the law. To report a Kogan grass location or for information on treatment, contact one of the following agencies.